In this video, I'll be explaining how to use flags in the latest version of VisLM, which is due for release in mid-September. If you already own a VisLM 2 license, then this is a free update. If you aren't already familiar with VisLM, then I recommend watching an Introduction to Loudness Toolkit before this video. Previous versions of VisLM have shown true peak overs in red on the timeline. As I gradually reduce my max true peak value, you can see more red dots appear. In this new update, I can enable flags, which show more prominently as a red line across the whole graph. I can navigate through the flags using these new controls at the bottom of the GUI. It's a bit like using Ctrl F to search through a text document, and the readout displays the time and the precise true peak value at the point of clipping. This saves a lot of time when finding and correcting issues, particularly for long projects. True peak is the only value which is flagged by default, but if I enable alerts for short term or momentary loudness, these also appear as flags on VisLM's timeline. I can navigate between them in the same way, and the readout displays the time and the relevant measurements. Finally, you can also place flags manually using the new flag button on the GUI. This is useful for points of interest which would not be picked up automatically. Once again, these are navigable in the exact same way. The only difference is that manual flags show up in orange rather than red. As always, thanks for watching. Please visit the new Gen Audio website to download the latest version of VisLM if you already own it, or to try a demo if you don't.